everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's vlog i've got a lot going on today tomorrow i am going on pony camp <laughs> You are a diva. Pony camp, I don't mean actual pony camp. A very long time ago, probably last Christmas, I had an idea that I wanted to train with an event rider for a pre-season eventing camp. With everything that happened with COVID and yada yada yada, that obviously couldn't happen at that time and it kind of got pushed further and further back. Obviously, I wanted to get the girls involved. That was an absolute no-brainer. So the opportunity popped up that we could go to Simon Greaves Yard in Leicestershire, which is about a couple of hours away from me. Anyway, the plan is we're going to be vlogging the whole camp ourselves. So we've got some fun brands involved along for the ride who are kindly sponsoring it. This was the idea that we work with the brands, we promote the brands, we also give you guys some really good content. Plot twist, whoosh, Horse and Country TV caught wind of the idea. I think it was back when uh, Meg and I did the uh, filming for the Back to Basics series. Long discussions later with Jenny Rudel. Horse and Country are coming along to film it. So we'll be coming to a channel near you. I think the programme will be aired. Ooh, I'm gonna guess around next month, maybe. I will check that and I will get those correct details to you. But you will have, before that, many a vlog to watch. I've left everything, everything to the very last minute. I'm just about to go and get Bonnie in, literally now, because Bonnie is going on her three day, four day holiday across the road over the other side. Louise and Colin have very, very, very kindly said that they would keep an eye on her for me while I'm away, which is really reassuring because they've got two lovely horses who will, who are always in the field they don't ever come in so bonnie will be able to uh to stay with them oh laura lee here she is i let lara come into the little corral bit in the day to get away from the flies before i get her in i'm just going to show you what i got up to earlier i had to take a little trip to go and sort out something very important along the lines of some transportation for this absolute gem hey had to get some transport for you oh yes oh god ooh, ooh. anyway <laughs> i'll see you in a second so i've got camp tomorrow and i was going to come in my trailer obviously with lara but i've been really disorganized and it was due a service so i've come to anglian trailer center to get it serviced and really really kindly they are um i think they're providing me with some other form of transport so i don't quite know what it is yet so i will find out but luckily when i'm away that means that they can get my trailer fixed and i will get to take something else to camp but uh, this is all possible because equitrek are actually sponsoring the camp as well so they're one of the sponsors which is really really nice so i spoke to the guy chris who hopefully is going to show me around this other vehicle whatever it may be Ooh. so i'm here with will who is going to show me around this rather snazzy horse box which i'm actually shocked that i'm not allowed to drive because i'm very qualified obviously <laughs> <laughs> so this is the valiant the valiant um, so yeah it's a five ton uh, horse box oh, two horse so uh, rear facing yeah with living this looks absolutely incredible i'm so excited to drive this haven't driven a lorry for a while i have got my hgv license don't worry everyone and here you've got living compartments you've got uh the seat here at the back converts into a double bed nice falls forward uh, you've got some storage area here, shower and toilet compartment, yeah. hob, sink and fridge here. Nice. Back locker. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, won't, I won't put that bit in. Obviously very good I, I will edit that bit out. <laughs> That's quite alright, I don't mind. Give people a laugh. <laughs> Fantastic. So is it like my trailer in the sense that I will travel her on that side? It's exactly the same yeah. as your trailer. 
Well, everything's the same as you're used to. Got um, camera as well, camera. look. Yeah. A massive thank you to Anglian Traders and Equitrek for helping me out on this one. Trailer safety is very important. You don't want to have any accidents and you don't want to risk it. And so something that I didn't realise is my tyres were quite old. Now, although they didn't look worn at all, because obviously my trailer's not out every day like my car, quite dangerous to have old tyres on your trailer. So, hence why I'm really relieved to be driving there with um, with a lovely new lorry. So, lucky you, Lara. Anyway, I'm going to crack on because I need to take Bonnie across the road now. Here they go. Bonnie's friends. Bonnie literally does not care. Oh, there we go. Bonnie is in her new field with her new friends and poor Lara's like, where's my friend gone? You don't know, do you? You don't know what's going on. Basically now I have the long laborious task of cleaning her up, making her nice and shiny for those cameras, hey? All of the cameras, vlogging cameras and TV cameras. And I have to pack the lorry. I love saying lorry though. I'm really not going to want to give it back. I'm really, really not. Camp day has arrived. Got up really early this morning and have finished packing the, I was going to say trailer, the lorry. And I have to tell you, if I were to have my trailer right now, I don't think I would have fit everything in because I just want to give you a quick how to pack with Footloose Eventing. Are you ready for this, guys? Let's turn the, also. Fancy, turn the lights on. Um, right, here we go. What do we have here? We've got my numbers. We've got my Y food box. Some very important plates and cutlery in here. My bedding for myself. My bedding for Lara. This haylage bag, a feed. Pop this open. I've got some of my riding gear, clothes, hats, etc. Basically, I just don't know <laughs> what I would have done if I didn't have all this space. So again, thank you Ectrack for making it a, a lot easier for me. I've also got, obviously, the luxury of a tack locker here. So I've got my Voltaire saddle and my jump saddle there. So I'm ready to go in the front. Let's shut that up. And Lara is looking suspiciously, like she knows we're going to go somewhere in a minute. Unfortunately, I had a call yesterday from Jenny Rudel, who is um, directing this from Horse and Countryside. And really sadly, Simon Grieve, who was the lovely man who was going to be hosting us there and teaching us and giving us training, had a really terrible fall at the weekend competing. So he's not quite feeling top notch. However, we have a last minute savior step in. <laughs> So, and we know him, he's a familiar face. So I'll let you, I'll let you see when we're there. Right, I'll see, I'll see you there. <laughs> we made it! Here she is! Yes. We both got lost and Tina both filmed us going the wrong way down the road. We've arrived. Why but, didn't ooh, she bring upside her? Down. No, she, she rang me. She, um, we're staggering the entrances. So I've just pulled over here because they have to be filmed on that. And you don't really know, look at my sweat <laughs> <laughs> We've made it and there's a lot going on behind me. We've got Meg introducing the camera crew to her vlog. Um, and we got, say hi Tina, I haven't said hi to her. Hi, hi Luz, hi vlog. Tina's arrived, Em's arrived. We're gonna have a quick change and then get the horses tacked up and start the dressage lessons. But we better go and meet her. Right. dressage we arrived, safe and sound. Oh, oh, but it's, it's not just So much going on, I'll see you in a second. You're excited to and see you me. And you remembered my scream. An anchor. <laughs> <laughs> it is lovely to see you all. And you two I haven't met before. Hello. Lovely to meet Tina. you, Tina. Yeah, Fab nice Cameron. You. Lovely to meet you, Emily. Emily Cameron. Lovely to meet you. Yeah, like there is. Yeah. And we've got good weather. Yay! Yay. 
Yes. So we're all tacked up. I mean, I did nothing. Sophie's really kindly tacked up Lara for me, who did try and just barge out the trailer. Um, so I'm first up for the dressage, and Lara is actually keen as mustard. Isn't she, Sophie? Yeah. Yep, she's I keen. Confirm. She's keen, so. Hopefully we can channel that into some, you know, really oh, good well, dressage work. Coming for the, go for the under. Other brands are available, guys. Under shot. Oh. Nice. Just also top quad, you didn't get it in it. Oh God, I missed a bit. So we've just got into the arena and we're waiting for Cameron to, <laughs> to arrive. Thank you, Lara. I was just about to say how patient she's being. Um, no, she's being very patient. And then we're going to show off our moves, our finest moves. Yeah, we're all mic'd up. Got these mics on, so no swearing. Please do not swear. It's the heavy breathing, aren't you? Yeah! <laughs> We're all really, really fit event riders, guys. Is that tidy enough? Oh, I mean, it's a messy bun look, but it's still a tidy messy bun. Does that make to, sense? I don't know how to do a tidy Yeah, no, bun. that looks nice. Absolutely fine. Basically, it's safe. You're not going to get your hair trampled on if you are to fall off is in your dressage is lessons. That what it's for? Yeah, because it could scalp you. Oh, well, well, how to bring the tone down, Tina. <laughs> Come on then, Lara Lou, let's get on. Turn the clock round. Whee! Round not to get on, everyone. <laughs> she looks lovely. She looks really, really nice, Lucy. Yeah. Really, really Well, good. don't speak too soon. <laughs> Do you want me to take your phone? Yes, please. That's all right. Should I pass that? You over can here. indeed, eh? And are we going to have focus, as in not focus on the camera, but <laughs> allowing Lucy to focus? Of course. Good. Yeah. in her from when we came up and watched you yeah. when we came to yeah. Norfolk. Oh my gosh, she was so good. I am really, really happy with that session. It's just the improvement personally, I think. I, now I never say that. I'm never one to pat myself on the back, but yeah, even... Thank you. you. Um, I'll pat you. Give me a pat on the leg, but no, I'm really, really over the moon. Yeah, good girl. Should we get... Right, I'm going to actually take her... Going to the stables now. She's gonna be like, "What are we doing?" She's gonna think we're going home, but no, we're staying here, Lara. For three <laughs> days of this. Yeah. <laughs> You're good with the cameras, aren't you? Oh yeah, she's, she's used, used she's to tea. Very close to being tired. I was just there going. Oh, <laughs> she's so fine. Much yeah, you. no, she's she she is a good one, aren't you? Oh, and as I say that, off she goes. Later. We're off. Yeah. Good girl. Thanks, Cameron. Pleasure. That was really so good. Fun. That was really good. I'm, I'm very really, happy. really excited. Yay. Really excited. For our next test. Yeah. Why and do? I'm so proud as well. Yay. So proud. Got that on camera. Yeah. Who's proud? <laughs> Thank goodness. I'm like a proud parent. I really do. I mean, Jenny even said it was good. <laughs> I did. I went, oh, like that. Yeah. Elliot, the cameraman, turned around and was like, what, what was the inhale? I was like, because it was so good. Yeah, did that actually just happen? <laughs> did we go on the bit for a certain amount of time? Hey? Yeah, we did. To have that reaction from Jenny is, is, is well, yeah, good accolade. Exactly. Good girl. <laughs> so who is this holding Lola? This is Rebecca from Digital Horse. Say hi, hi. Rebecca. <laughs> so Digital Horse are sponsoring us in this wonderful programme and um, our vlogs as well. We're going to have a great time. We've got loads of fun content planned yes. for you and everyone. Okay. Um, I'm going to need Tina to give me a back 
I think Emily, Emily's just, Emily's just uh, panicking. Panicking. No, she's fine. I was going to say thank you to Rebecca for coming down no, and helping. No, so. It was nice to finally meet you guys. Yeah, after yeah. Because so we've long. spoke, we've been speaking to Rebecca for months now, yes, <laughs> literally know. back and forth trying to plan this. So, but it's going to be, it's going to be great. And those banners are looking extra spooky, I know. which is perfect. So go, re get ready, Lola. It's going to be. Uh, Get your speaker. So we're just going to take a look at the stables now. So I think it's this one here. So Lucy, you've bedded it down so well. I haven't bedded down yet. I bought four bales of um, bed max with me. So, but I think as long as she's got food, she'll be all right. She's a good reader because she's got the whiteboard there. A good reader. Yeah, she can catch up on her reading. Oh dear, classic. Oh, good no. good chat, that. good chat from Meg as here always. Here a week, guys. Here a week. Um, and then oh, we've only got one week, though. We haven't got two. Oh Maybe yeah. <laughs> and then we're gonna go and have a look. I think yours are over here. Sure. I believe. Oh. It's time to see whether. Is this our box? No, it's this one here. Oh, yeah. that's our box. Quickly, oh, I know. Staying in, but we will Some see that all later. So you um, guys. Oh, and us three are all in here. Look. Oh, I'm gonna oh be. Oh my goodness, they're huge! Oh, I'm gonna be left out. They are enormous barn. A bit wow. jealous, not gonna lie. Oh, Sweet. The size is nice. Well so done. Nice. Yeah, you can you can blimmin' warm up in here, it's so big. <laughs> Look, it's huge! That's what Emma use it for. Yeah. Do you wanna have the big Time to save the day. Yeah! Yay! Yay! We're gonna have the most delicious macaroni and cheese. Maybe you can join us for macaroni and cheese night. Oh god, is that so, safe? So, <laughs> are you kidding? I, I make the best food, but you will have to BYOB, which is bring your own bowl, because I didn't bring okay, enough. Yeah, and this. <laughs> Did you bring a cheese grater? No, because you said you bought grated cheese. Oh, no, we didn't. We bought a big slab of cheese. <laughs> wow, looks like we're gonna be cutting our enough. We're off the trailer and we're gonna walk Lara down to the stables now, because we've just put put her bed down. This is very nice, isn't it? And we'll get you settled in. She's a bit confused. Oh, bless you, Em. <laughs> She's a bit confused, aren't you, darling? You're being very good. You're happy in your stable? Yeah? She's like, I don't know if I can put my head out, Mum. Can I put it out? You're fine. Look, lovely big bed. Oh, sweetheart, dear. Kissing. Literally kissing. And squealing. Just had a little delivery. Woo. I'm going to go and see. Surprise, Meg, I've got a present for you. Oh, are these Do you want to see? Foxy. Oh, wow, they are some Did you want me to film you? Lily, you ready? Okay, I will change the way round. There you go, because obviously I'm thinking that bit goes on the outside. But how nice are these? So I got the brown ones, and I'm really—I've never ridden in anything like this before. So I'm really excited to, really excited to try them. Yes. So we've just come in to the arena, and Cameron's been very busy setting up lots of lovely fences for us to jump. So I can see here we've got a bit of an oxer on a turn, and then we've got another filler yeah, oxer over there the with the gallop and glory fence. And these mushrooms, which I think I particularly like the look of. How's she warmed up? Good. We got over the poles. Yes, go loose. Which is a, uh, a plus. That is, yeah, that's good for you. Very good. The two best friends that anyone could have.
Cameron's just going to quickly change this just to make it more inviting. Lara Lee, bless her, what you guys can't see is that we've got cameras there and cameras there <laughs> and the double is here and it's quite close so I think Lara's a bit distracted coming into this. Good. Yes, Lucy! And the crowd literally did go wild then. <laughs> so we have finished for today and she, Lara is back in her stable just chilling after, I wouldn't say an overly successful show jumping session. We also ended up losing a shoe, which I do have here. Ouch, that is sharp. It means that she'll have to have the farrier tomorrow morning and then we'll see how up for cross country we're feeling, which we should be, shouldn't we? But it's just a shame to end what started on quite a good day, um, as it is now. But she's just, good. yeah, it's all right, it's just water. I'm actually gonna get her a water bucket because I'm not sure if she's too keen or sure about what this water drinker is. Look, Lara, it's water, it's water. Okay. So that is the end of day one and it's so nice to be reunited with some of my besties, those two over there and this, this little girl here. Yeah. We've had such fun and I think we've learnt quite a lot. A scary amount to the extent that we need to actually process it. <laughs> uh, I've got a lot to process. I need to, what I also need to do is forget about the bad things which happened today, which in reality were not that bad because I didn't fall off, she's still sound. I mean, yes, we've got no shoe, but hopefully that will be fixed tomorrow and you be put back shoes. on. Exactly, shoes are so overrated, uh, they're not. I do need those, actually. We just tune back in for the next day, day two of our eventing what they should camp. do is what? put that bell on. Oh yeah, and ding, then ding, you'll ding, get ding, a notification. Ding, ding, ding. notification the bell, and then you can see when day two is happening. And because there might be heading over there. Might be a change of hacks, Meg. Yeah, for a bit of cross-country no, action. So oh, if we can survive that, then we can survive anything. Anyway, make sure you like, comment and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed it. But I will see you guys again very, very soon indeed. Bye.